Good evening, friends. In this class, we will understand the basics of simple and compound interest. Right? There are, there are two types of interest. One is simple interest, compound interest. Broadly, compound interest, you have to pay more. We have to pay more if it is about compound interest. Simple interest is slightly better than compound interest. Right? When you, when you take any loan, the first thing that they will ask is whether it is simple interest or compound interest. In fact, a lot of banks nowadays, uh, they don't offer simple interest. They offer only compound interest. If you take any educational loan, any housing loan, any car loan, any loan, most of them are compound interest. Only. Okay, simple interest. By the name, it's actually very simple. Let's say I'm taking 100 rupees loan. I'm taking 100 100 rupees loan, okay, it is 100 rupees and the interest rate is 10 percent, okay, interest rate is 10 percent, what does that mean, interest rate is 10 percent per year, let's say it is given like this, the loan is like this, what does it mean, first you have to understand whether it is simple or not, it is simple interest, let's say, interest rate is 10 percent per year, Simple interest calculated as per simple interest. Simple interest. What does this mean? This means I am taking 100 rupees. If it is next year, I have to pay 10% on this 100 rupees. 10% of 100 rupees, 10 by 100 into 100, which is again 10 rupees. 10 rupees as interest. As interest, we have to pay. Okay. At the same time, if I have to repay, then 110, 100 rupees plus interest, 110. Total 110, I have to repay at the end of first year. If I am repaying within one year, if the duration of my loan is one year, then I have to repay within, then I have to repay within one year. Uh, one, within one year, if I have to repay, then the amount I have to pay is 110 rupees because 10% is the interest rate. And this is simple interest. If I have to repay within two years, then first year again, 10 rupees, 10%. 10 10% per first year. Per first year. And again, another 10% per second year. Per second year. Etc. What that means is 10 rupees first year, 10 rupees second year, 20 rupees plus 100. Well, well, what we have taken is called principal. Principal. Principal means the original amount that we have taken. That is 100. Principal is 100. Interest. This is called interest. Interest. And total amount that we have to repay is 120 rupees. If we have taken for two years at the rate of 10% per year simple interest. Right? 10% per year simple interest means with after two years we have to repay original 100 plus two years each year 10% each year 10, 10 and 10 that means total 20 total 130 similarly if we have to repay within three years then we have to repay 100 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 100 plus 30 equal to 130 if we have to repay in four years it will be 140 okay as per this simple interest rate now, if it is 10%, it is 10% of the 4 years and is 140. Similarly, if it is 5% interest rate instead of 10%. If it is 5%, then 5% of 100. 5% of 100. Every year, you have to pay. 5% of 100 is 5 rupees. Per year, we have to pay. After first year, we have to pay 105 rupees, second year 110 rupees, third year 115 rupees, fourth year 120 rupees. Okay? Every year 5 rupees. 5 rupees by the end of second year 5 plus 5, 10. Then third year 5 plus 5 plus 5, 15. By the end of fourth year 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, 20. Okay? Simple interest means whatever is your principal amount. Principal amount. Principal amount. Principal amount is the amount 
that we have taken as low. Remember this principle. It is PAL, not PAL, PLE. There is one more word in English called principle. This means rule. Principle means rule. Remember, LE, LE. Principle means rule. This goes against my principles. I don't like. Lying is against principles. I don't eat non veg. It goes against my principles. Like say, someone says, that means is against the rules. Against is ethics. Against is rule. The principles of economics. The principles of trigonometry or some, some other theory. What of that means? The rules of economics or rules of that subject, etc. Principle, PLE. Okay. Both have derived from this word, princi. Princi. That means the source or first or original kind of from Latin. Okay. Okay. So this principle, that's what it means. It is a original amount. Principle. Principle, the source is foundation. That's why. The rule, it is about the rules, the foundations of any art, any subject, etc. Those are called principles. So both are derived from the same source, but for amount, we use this word principle, not this one. For rules, we use this word. The school principal, college principal is this one, this one, yeah, because he is the main one. Right. Okay. So now this is the principle. Now the principle will call it P. We'll call it P into whatever is the time into R, whatever is the interest rate by 100. Okay. What that means is if 100 rupees and if it is 4 years, 100 into 4, if interest rate is 10 by 100. Okay. Then like this, like this, then 40 rupees interest we have to pay. Okay. This is interest. I will call it I. Interest equal to PTR by 100. That means in four years, we have to pay interest as 40 rupees. What the total amount will be? We call it A. Total amount will be principal plus interest is 100 plus 40 equal to 140. Any number, okay? Any any principal, if it is given, if it is 1000 or 200, whatever, any principal, whatever is the time that we have to repay, the time in which we have to repay. Generally, this is in years. And the rate, for each year or for each time period, what exactly is the trade? Not a, what exactly is the trade? Then P into T into R by 100 will become the total interest. And total amount that we have to repay is we have to repay the principal also. We have to repay the in in interest also. Okay. This is simple. This is called simple interest. Let's do some simple problems from simple interest. Find the interest to be paid on a loan of 6,000. 6,000 P, T, R by 100 okay this is what this is the interest i equal to what is p here p is 6000 6000 into how many years five years into what is the interest rate five percent five percent by 100 okay zero zero is gone okay what does this mean five into 60 is 360 or 5 into 525, 25 into 25 into 60 is 1500. Right? 625 is 150. So 1500 is what we have to repay. Right? So see again, 6000 is the original amount, which is called principal. And time period. Time period is how much time the loan is for. The loan is for 5 years. So is 5. What is interest rate? Interest rate is also 5%. So 5. P into T into R by 100. Okay. 0, 0 gets cancelled. 60 into 5 into 5. 60 into 5. 300. 300 into 5. 1500. Okay. So the interest that has to be paid is 1500. What is the amount that has to be repaid? That is 6000 plus 1500 equal to 70 by 100. Okay. We just need to understand what is the principle. Principle is the original amount. What is the time? How much time the loan is for? What is the interest rate? Okay. With this, we'll get what is the interest. And we should be able to calculate whatever is the total amount. Total amount is whatever we had taken. Original principal amount plus whatever interest that we have to give. Both we have to return them. Return back. Okay. Now, find the amount to be paid back on a loan of 18,000 at 5.5% 5 .5 per annum for 3 years. What is P here? P is 18,000. 
what is P here? P is 3. It is I here. I is 5.5. Sorry, what is R here? R is 5.5. Okay. P into T into 5.5 by 100. This is the total intensity. Okay. 180 into 3 into 5.5. 180 into 3 into 5.5 is the total interest that you have to pay. This is equal to 290. 70. Okay. 2970. 180 into 3 into 5.5, 180 into 3 into 9 by 2 into this, right? 90. 272 to 11. 172 to 11. 270. Okay. This is, this is the interest that we have to pay, 2970. Find the amount to be paid by. What is the amount? Amount is, we have to pay the principal also and 2970 also 18000 also we have to pay and 2970 also we have to pay so what that means is 20970 is the amount that we have to pay this is the amount okay simple p into t into r by 100 that is the formula that we have to remember okay now one more problem in how many years Will a sum of money triple itself at 25% per annum simple interest is given. Again, simple interest. P, T, R by 100. That is interest. Okay. This is, this is the formula we should always remember. Interest equal to principal into time into rate. Interest rate by 100. This is the total interest. Now, he is saying what? How many years will a sum of money Triple itself. Okay. Let's say the original amount is P. How will it triple itself? How will it triple itself? It will triple itself when? When interest is 2 into P. Right. Interest should become P. Then total amount will become P plus 2P is equal to 3P. This is what he is saying. Interest should become 2P. Right. Original amount is P. Then interest if it becomes 2P. Then total amount will become 3p, which will then triple itself. Now, interest is 2p. 2p is equal to p into what is uh, time? Time we don't know. He is asking what is time? Into r, 25, we know. 25 by 100. p and p gets cancelled. 2 equals p into 25 by 100. What is 4? T equal to 24 is 8 years. Okay. 24 is 8 years. Right. Every year 25%. Every year 25%. It has to increase. Let's say 100 rupees. Every year what it will become? 25 rupees. 25 rupees you have to pay. First year 25. Second year another 25. Third year another 25. 25. Fourth year another 25. So in 4 years 100. Another 4 years, another 100. Okay. So, 5, 6, 7, 8. 25, 25, 25, 25. So, 8 years, another 100. First 4 years, 100. 8 years, another 100. So, then total interest becomes 200. Original was 100. So, your amount will become 100 plus original amount plus 100 in 4 years. Another 100 in another 4 years. So, total 8 years, your amount, our amount will triple in itself. Okay? Let's take another problem. What rate percent per annum will produce 250 as simple interest? 
on 6000 in 2.5 years. Interest equal to T, T, R by 100. Right? What is the principal? Principal is 6000. Into interest we don't know. Time is 2.5. Interest, interest rate, let's call it R only. By 100, this is equal to how much? 250. Right? 6000 into 2.5 by 100 is 2.5 into R is equal to 250. Six into twenty five into R is equal to two fifty. Right. Six into R equal to ten. That means R equal to this twenty five into two fifty. Right. Ten. R equal to ten by six. What is ten by six? Ten by six is five by three. That equals to five by three. That equals. That means 1.67 percent. 1.67 percent is the interest uh, that yearly that uh, that we have to pay if 250 rupees is a simple interest in 2.5 years. Let's take one more example. Sylvia Chang he borrowed 5,000 at 11 percent simple interest for 11 months to buy furniture for a new apartment. New, new apartment. Okay, 5,000. See here, it's a simple interest for 11 months. How much will be paid? So, simple interest. What is the interest that we, that she has to pay? First of all, for one year, P T R by 100 for one year. Okay. What is what is that? One year, 5000 into 1 into 11 by 100. Right? Five fifty. She has to pay in one year. That is one months. One months. She has to pay five fifty. Eleven months. How much she has to pay? Eleven into five fifty by twelve. Eleven into five fifty by twelve. She has to pay five fifty in twelve months. But she is paying only for. She wants. She took the interest rate. 11% for 11 months only. So, 11 into 550 by 12 is equal to 504. Okay. So, she has to pay 504 rupees as, as interest. As interest. Amount will be 5000 plus 504. 5504. That is the total amount that she has, she has to repay. Okay. This is also an easy problem. Let us see another problem. Alok lent out a certain sum. He lent one third part of his sum at seven percent, one fourth at eight percent, and the remaining part at remaining part at ten percent. One third at seven percent, one fourth at eight percent, remaining at ten percent. Total interest is five ten. Very good. First of all, we have to find out what is remaining. Remaining is 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4. 1 minus, so 12, 12, 12 is the denominator, minus 4, minus 3. Okay, what is the remaining? Remaining is this, remaining part, 1 minus 4, this is 5 by 12. Okay, 5 by 12. So, 1 third, 1 third is equal to? 4 by 12, right? 4 by 12 is this, 3 by 12 is this, and this is 5 by 12. Okay, 4 by 12, 1 third we can write as 4 by 12, 1 fourth we can write as 3 by 12. Okay, 
Okay. No. No. Four by twelve into seven percent. What is the interest rate? What is the interest rate? Let's assume uh, the total amount. Total amount is X. Or total amount is P. Okay. Let's assume P T R by hundred. P. What is this amount? Four by twelve into P. Four by twelve into P. And the uh, remaining part is also find the money lent out certain sum. Remaining part is ten percent. Okay. So T he didn't mention. So T we can take it as one only. T is anyway common. Find find that P into T into R. R is what? How much? Uh, R is seven percent. Into seven by hundred. Plus again three by twelve into P into Eight by hundred plus five by twelve into p into ten by hundred, right? Four by twelve into p. This is the amount, and this is the interest rate. Okay. Time we don't know. We can assume time. We can directly put as p also. No problem. Okay. Four by twelve of p. This amount with this interest rate. And this is uh, this is the interest rate. P. This is the amount into this interest rate into this time by hundred. Similarly, this amount, this interest rate, this one time like this, like this, like this. Okay. Now this is equal to five ten. This is equal to five ten. Now what we do? P by twelve. If P T by twelve, we will take it out. Equals four by twelve plus three by twelve. Sorry. One second. Hmm. This is the amount. This is the amount is five ten. Four by twelve into p into seven by ten. So t is not given. T we can directly assume it as one year. So we are going to learn total total part of this. We are going to learn part of total. We have to take as total in there. It doesn't matter. T anyway doesn't matter now. Okay. Into seven percent, eight percent, to ten percent to find the money lent out. Now what we have to do? P by twelve hundred into four seven is twenty eight plus three eight is twenty four plus five ten is fifty equals five ten. Okay, twenty eight plus twenty four plus fifty. P into one not two. By twelve hundred is equal to five ten. P is equal to twelve hundred into into five ten by one not two. Twelve hundred into five ten by one not two. How much this will become? This will become uh, Into twelve thousand into fifty one. This is twelve thousand into fifty one by one not two. Right, fifty one was two times. This was six times. Right, two was six thousand times. Right, so if I say this zero, I am pushing it here. Fifty one was two times, and then six thousand. So principal is equal to six thousand. Okay, 
So here he didn't mention the, find the money lent out. This so assuming this we have to assume um, is this total interest, right? Total interest. Year, let's say, because if it is multiple years, uh, he didn't mention, but we have to assume that it is in a year. Probably they will not mention it in the question properly. Total interest in a year. So let's look at this question. Okay, Alok has got certain amount of money. Okay, <clears throat> one third of it he has given it at some percent. One third of it, one fourth of it at eight percent, and then remaining at ten percent. What is the remaining? 1 minus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4. 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 is the 1 here and here. And the remaining would be 1 minus this. That is 12 is the denominator. 12 minus 4 here, 3 here. 12 minus 4 minus 3 equal to 5 by 12. Okay. Now, 4 by 12 of the principal, 4 by 12 of P is given at 7% into 7% by 100. P is 1. Okay. P we have to assume it is 1. It didn't give. Uh, then for 3 by 12 of P, this amount of principal is given at 8% into 8 by 100. This amount, 5 by 12 of P is given at 10%, 10 by 100. So the interest coming from here plus here plus here should be equal to 510. Okay, P by 12 into 100, we are taking this out. Then 4 into 7, 28 plus 3 into 8, 24 plus 5 into 10, 50. 28 plus 24 plus 50 is 102. P by 1200 into 102 equal to 510. P is equal to 1200 into 510 by 102. Okay, the 0 will move it here. 51 goes 2 times. The 2 goes 6000 times in 12,000. Okay, so the answer is 6000. Hope you have understood. Basically, in all these simple interest questions, it is about PTR by 100. What is the interest? What is the time? What is the interest rate? And what is the time? These two we should know clearly. Cool guys, hope you have understood this, hope you have understood the basics of simple interest. Right, we will take up more complex problems and we will also pick up uh, compound interest in the next sessions. Right, please practice these problems, this will become very easy then. Thank you guys, bye bye, take care.